Wi-Fi Connect Tutorial What the buttons do Reset If your unit isn't working for any reason the simple reboot is all it needs This can be achieved by simply pressing the reset button Once pressed the lights on the unit will turn red This will last for around 30 to 40 seconds whilst it reboots Once the lights turn green the unit is fully operational If for any reason this doesn't fix the problem then you might just need to do a quick factory reset. This is simply achieved by pressing the reset button for at least 6 seconds. This will take around 40 seconds for a factory reset. Once the lights turn green the unit is fully operational. Power line. If for any reason the master unit can't see a second add-on unit then all you need to do is press power line button. This will then take about 30 seconds and the master will reinitialize the connection. Wi-Fi. If for any reason you wish to turn the Wi-Fi off all you need to do is press the Wi-Fi button. This will turn off the Wi-Fi and LED indicator. To turn it back on simply press the Wi-Fi button again and the Wi-Fi and LED will turn back on. Physical button tutorial complete. How to set up SSID, Wi-Fi repeater mode. First connect your newly installed Wi-Fi connect wall socket. Don't be alarmed to see the yellow triangle, this is because you haven't configured the unit yet. Next open your internet browser. In the address bar type in 192.168.1.10 This is the IP address for the master wall socket Type in the password admin to access the setup Then select Wi-Fi extender, root SSID repeat Select the Wi-Fi you wish to connect to Type in the Wi-Fi password Advanced users only You can now connect to the Wi-Fi you repeated SSID repeat tutorial complete how to use the bandwidth calculator Firstly load the admin page and go to the device control tab Click on the Wi-Fi calculator link in the red circle Enter total bandwidth megabit Enter bandwidth usage percentage this displays the outcome in kilobytes If you don't know your speed click on the Google speed check link highlighted in the red circle Click on the run speed test highlighted in the red circle Once the test has completed copy the download speed Click back into the bandwidth calculator page Paste the value into the bandwidth megabit box circled in red Enter a percentage you wish the unit to have box, circled in red Click the calculate button this works out the bandwidth we wish to use on the units, copy the value, circled in the total bandwidth required kilobytes. Go back to the Wi-Fi Connect device control page and go to the bandwidth throttling section to enter the values. Bandwidth Calculator Tutorial Complete Thank you for watching.